Hi everyone, this is Steve Carlsey and welcome to English 328 Online for Winter 2010, I'm going to say 2010. Um, this is a short video to introduce the class, talk about a few things in the syllabus, introduce myself. I printed out a copy of the syllabus here and you might want to do the same, although it does print out a little bit strange. Um, but I'm going to hit a couple highlights and you be sure to read along. And then when, we're, when you're done reading over this stuff, or watching this video and reading over the syllabus and the schedule and stuff like that, be sure to make a comment uh, underneath here, you know, uh, at the bottom here where it says comments and introduce yourself and ask whatever questions you might have. Uh, uh, like I said, my name is Steve Krause. I've been uh, teaching at DMU since 1998. I've taught this class dozens and dozens of times and I've taught it online in several different uh, forms, but although I've done some, some new things this term which would be kind of exciting for me at least. Uh, my wife is a net water maker. She's also a professor in the English department and I mention that because, you know, sometimes you might have her as an instructor too. She teaches tools and literature classes. I want to say something about my office hours. They're 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Fridays and by appointment. And I want to emphasize by the appointment part because my experience has been in online classes, and this term I'm just teaching online, that uh, when I meet with students, it's almost always by appointment. So the 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Fridays is when I will be around, but I'm very flexible to meet at, at other times uh, if you want as well. Uh, a little bit about the books for the term. There's McLeod's. Scott McLeod's Understanding Comics. There's uh, Strunk and White's The Elements of Style. And this is a book that, this is the version I have. There are several different versions of this book. You can get an older one or a used one, whatever works for you. Um, the one thing to make sure that you get is the one that has both Strunk and White and not a really old one that's just uh, William Strunk. And uh, this book, uh, Joseph Williams' Style Toward Clarity and Grace. Um, this is different. For, he has also be, be be sure to get the yellow book, which is the it's also a trade book, which means that you can get into places like Borders or Barnes Noble or whatever. And uh, this is different from some textbooks that he has. Uh, the books are all available. I have links on the website to Amazon.com. They're readily available at other bookstores, and I order them through the university store. There's also a number of readings, actually probably the majority of the readings that we'll be doing in the, in the term, that are available just online through e-reserves for the class or through um, a links to other websites. Let me say a word, I want to emphasize the online responsibility uh, component. By this point in time, you've already received at least one, if not two warnings from me about the, the online nature of the course. And I just want to emphasize once again, um, the, the importance of being aware of what you're getting yourself into. Online classes are not easier. They are not time savers. All they can do is they shift time. And if anything else, uh, online classes will require you to spend more time online engaging with the course than you would if it was meeting in a normal face-to-face -face setting. So um, towards that end, you need to be careful about some of the, where some of the things I list here in the online responsibility part. You have to be comfortable and confident working with your computers and doing stuff on the web and browsers and installing software and all this other kind of stuff because I can't come to your house and fix your computer. Towards that end, you have to have regular computer access. Under no circumstances will I accept as an excuse, my computer is broken, that I couldn't get on the internet, or something like that. Um, only you can be responsible for this computer access. Um, if you know your significant other moves out with the computer, that's a problem, and it's something that's going to you know be a problem for you. And again, um, you have to be engaged in the class on a regular basis. We'll talk about I'll talk about this briefly when we get to the schedule, but this is not a class where you can just do everything on, say, Friday afternoon or something like that. You're going to have to engage in the online components of the course on an almost daily basis. The, the course is basically divided up into, I guess what I would describe as four components, the biggest one being the major writing projects. But the second biggest one is participation. As I say in the syllabus, that involves 200 points out of 1,000 points for the class. Most of it involves threaded discussions. And the discussion this term for this class is going to be a little bit different from some of the things I've tried before in this class. Uh, it's all going to take place right here on this website, English 328, uh, engl328.stevendkrause.com. We're not going to have discussions on EMU Online. I will be using EMU Online for the gradebook function, but I won't be using it for the discussion function. I have some uh, just did, um, some guidelines for the discussion here. I think the biggest thing to keep in mind is that, number one, it should be a discussion as opposed to some sort of mini book report on the reading or something like that. So you want to engage with other people in the, in the, uh, uh, the act of your posts. The second thing is, is they, they don't have to be long posts, but they shouldn't be just yes or I agree. 
Um, they don't have to be perfectly written, but you might want to, you know, read them over before you hit post just to make sure that you're happy with what's what's there. And the most important part of it is that you actually have to do it. The thing that's interesting about an online class versus a face-to-face -face class is that in a face-to-face -face class, if you are simply sitting in the room and looking like you're paying attention, you're still in some sense participating. But in an online class, if you're sitting at home and looking at the computer, I can't really tell if you're participating or not. So the only way that you can indicate to me and your classmates that you really are participating in the class is by posting uh, to the discussion forums. I'll try to set up some optional face-to-face -face meetings early in the term. You'll see more information about that uh, as, the term, as, as the term goes on. In brief, these are things that you don't have to go to, but I do think it's useful for students in the class to actually put a name with a face. Towards that end, make sure that you develop, when you set up your WordPress.com blogs, that you develop a Gravatar, which is a little icon that will show up in the comments. I think that that's actually kind of a nice little feature to um, Per, you know, personify the comments that you that you have for the class. There will be some collaborative group work in the class, especially towards the end of the term. Um, students always complain about this, but at the end of the term, I think that they all also tend to agree with me that it's some of the most beneficial activities. And we'll be talking throughout the term about different ways that you can collaborate with each other without having to physically meet with each other. So you'll see what I mean when we get there. Halfway through the term, and at the end of the term, I'll ask you to, to um, uh, engage in a grading dialogue about participation as I explain here on the course description of the syllabus. Uh, basically what I'll have you do is email me and tell me what grade you think that you've earned for participation for the first half of the term and at the end of the term for the second half of the term and then I'll respond and come up with a grade. The idea here is, is that I want you to be accountable and responsible for uh, what grade you think that you deserve uh, for this element of the class. The blog posts are worth 150 points. Uh, we'll be using WordPress.com to do this. It's a very easy setup for that and the details for that will become very clear. The bulk of the class is made up of the major writing projects and I described them a little bit but there'll be a lot more detail as we go along. I do not accept late projects. The uh, only uh, exception to this is that if you contact me before something is due I will usually work out some sort of deal with you to hand in something later. Um, for, late, for projects that are late, I deduct a letter grade for every 72 hours on which a project is late. So it is in your interest to get them in on time. There's also a final for the class, and the final is something that's essentially mandated through um, a program that has to do for those of you who are in the Language Literature and Writing for Teachers program. The final is already posted on the website. You can take a look at it as we go along. It's very, very low stakes, 50 points out of 1,000 points. You'll see when we get there by the end of the term, it's no big deal. Um, in order to pass the course, you must complete all the major writing projects and the final regardless of your grades for any other component of the course and regardless of your grade with the missing components. In other words, you've got to hand everything in, that is the major writing projects, and uh, you've got to finish all these components of the class, otherwise, including the final, otherwise uh, you can pass. There are some things about the fine print, don't plagiarize, access services, and the like and you can read that on your time, own time. Now, one more thing I want to point out, if you look at the schedule for the class, um, what we'll be doing in the class will appear on the home page of this website of the blog, and you should, if you check on it on a regular basis, say every day, every other day at most, at, at, you know, at furthest, furthest apart, you'll be able to keep up with the events of the class. Um, I want to point out that the schedule is divided up into two halves for each week, and it always is begin on Monday and finish by Wednesday and begin on Wednesday and finish by Friday. <clears throat> what I mean by begin on Monday is that by Monday everyone should begin the conversation about a particular reading or activity or something like that and finish that discussion by Wednesday. By beginning on, uh, by beginning on Wednesday I mean begin on Wednesday and finish by Friday. If you don't do that, if you wait until say Wednesday, you're actually late. Okay, so maybe a better, best way to put it is, is that sometime on Monday and sometime on Wednesday, those are the starting points for discussion basically throughout the term for the schedule. Um, and then we have a few days to talk about it. But don't wait until Wednesday or Friday because then it'll be too late. I hope that makes some sense. I hope this is useful. I hope this is a, it um, gives you some idea about where we're going. Uh, again, welcome aboard, and I look forward to uh, working with everybody this term in, in what should be a, a fun and interesting and challenging class.